there's no one beside you. Shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, 
thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table for me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my stay with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We ask for that you govern yourselves accordingly and ask the Lord to bless the reading of his word. At this time, we're going to have um, our prayer by Elder Donald, who's going to lead us in prayer, after which our praise team will take us further. Amen. Oh, I just 
the song of praise and hallelujah. The scripture says that the Lord God breathed into man the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Only with his breath are we able to live each day. Only because of him. Without him, I'm dead. Without him, I'm nothing. This song just tells me that I'm nothing without you. I'm lost without you. I'm desperate for you.
special doing this time just wave at me if you did because see the bible said you have not because you what ask not 
And I just want to thank God for all these blessings. Hallelujah. Can somebody help me just give God a praise for all that he has done? Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is so good. Amen. Let's go to our scripture that we have been uh, using. Uh, Isaiah 58. Let's begin. Amen. At verse number six. Verse number six. Isaiah chapter 58, verse number six, is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break what? Every yoke. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just that, just that verse there speaks to us. And today, as we conclude, how many of you ask God for something and you already got it? Just wave at me. Hallelujah. At the Bible says you have not because you what? Ask not. And today, I believe that many of us have already got what we ask God for because we believe and we walk in faith. Now, I want to let somebody here know today that there are many more blessings that God has with your name on it, but you have to continue to pursue him and ask him. Hallelujah. Anybody believe in miracles in here? Amen. So I want somebody to believe God for a miracle, a miracle, and, and, and tell, tell the Lord I believe you so much that I believe I already got it. Amen. And I'm going to walk in faith and just believe God. Now, I, I, I want to bring your mind back to today. Hallelujah. The things that constitute a fast, because I need you to know that what you have done, the Lord saw it. And there are blessings as a result of the things that you have done. You've given up your, your, your plate for a certain amount of time, and you prayed, and you asked. How many of you in here ask God for some things? Hallelujah. The Bible says you have not because you're what? Ask not. You got to ask. You got to believe. Hallelujah. And you got to believe that God is able, and God promised me to give me uh, some of the desires of my heart. He promised to give me some of the desires of my heart. Let's go back to this uh, favorite scripture on fasting. Let's go uh, uh, back to the book of Isaiah because everybody need to take this with them. Uh, we're going to read just a, a, a couple of verses and then we're going to list out for you because you need to remember what you have as a result of your fast. Now, wave your hand if you fast any. If you just fast a little bit, you fast some. Amen. You know what? God is different from man. God will give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. Before you even ask. But the Bible says ask. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. You have to ask, and you got to believe there. There, there are many people in the Bible that fast, but let's go to this particular passage of scripture in Isaiah, amen, and chapter number 58. And let's begin and look at just a couple of verses of what this fast has done and is doing in your life. How many of you believe that fast? Brings about miracles. Amen. Okay, Isaiah chapter 58. Uh, somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, let's, let's go to verse number uh, six. Isaiah chapter 58. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? The Lord chose the fast because he intends to give you a miracle. 
Verse number six again. Is not this the fast that I have chosen uh, to loose the bands of what? Wickedness. The enemy comes at you to try to bind you, to try to stop you. But the scripture said it comes to loose the bands of wickedness. Uh, then to undo heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free. And that ye break every yoke. Can you imagine what the Lord is saying to you? That you will be able to speak to the mountain and break some yokes. They're going to listen to you because your words are powerful. Your words are anointed. Your words have been given to you by God, and he is going to honor those words. Hallelujah. Let me, let me, I, I just want to read this verse one more time. Verse number six. It's not this the fast that I have chosen. The Lord said, I chose the fast uh, to loose the bands of wickedness. Number one, hallelujah, to loose the bands of wickedness and to undo heavy burden and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break. Somebody say, you talking about me? Yeah. That ye break every yoke. Okay. So it, 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 isn't, it's that amazing. God has given you power and authority to break your How did it, Verse number seven. Is it not to deal the bread of the hungry and that ye bring the poor and cast out thy uh, houses? And when thou seest the naked, uh, that thou cover him and thou and that thou hide not thyself from thine flesh from thine own flesh okay now i want to remind you because god has given you something i want us to go through this short list right quick to make sure that we know what we have been given it goes from verse number six all the way down to the end of this chapter but let's just look at 20 things somebody say 20 things 20 things that constitute a true fast 20 things that you need to know that have been given to you that constitute a true fast and when you fast how many of you have fast anything here i'm not talking about the whole time but just some of it raise your hand if you have amen do you believe God saw you and he heard your prayer? So you believe that God has some miracles with your name on it? Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Let's look at the list of things uh, that constitute a true fast. If you've done a part of this, hallelujah, you can tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, the first one is to loose the bands of wickedness. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a what? Lord, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. When you fast and pray, the Bible says, hallelujah, he comes, hallelujah, the true fast comes to loose the bands of wickedness. The devil can't hold you. He can't stop you. He can't hinder you. How many of y'all believe? If you believe that, just wave at me. And tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. When you fast, things happen. Number one, to loose the bands of wickedness. Hallelujah. That, that, that comes out of verse number six hallelujah uh number two to undo heavy burdens to undo heavy burdens when the enemy comes in like a flood the spirit of the lord lift up, to undo heavy burdens i do you have to know that god has a plan to undo heavy burdens. number three to let the oppressed go what free you can pray for your family members you can pray for, hallelujah, those people that are kin to you, hallelujah, those people that are on your job, and you can tell them, I'm praying for you. They will see the results, and they will come to the realization that your God answers prayer. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. To uh, undo heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free. I, I like the number, number, number four on this list. To break what? Every yoke. God told me to tell somebody this week, how do you understand that a yoke is going to be broken? Can somebody believe the Lord and give him a praise for that right now? I believe it's going to happen. Hallelujah. To break, uh, to, oh, to break 
every yoke, everything that comes against you. Hallelujah. Number number five, deal uh, bread to the hungry. Number six, the shelter the outcast. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes to hurt you, to stop you, hallelujah, this fast breaks that. I need somebody here to hear this, that the blessing is upon your life. That's why David said, I will fear what? No evil. I will fear no evil. Hallelujah. And to let the oppressed go free, to break every yoke, and to deal the bread, deal bread to the hungry, and to shelter the outcast, uh, cover the naked. Hallelujah. Uh, number eight. Uh, to cover up your own faults, hallelujah, to cease from accusing others, to call upon the Lord and cry to God and get your prayers answered, hallelujah, having compassion for the hungry. See, when I have compassion for others, it opened the doors for me. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. God, the Bible says like this, he, his eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. He's going to take care of me. He covered the naked and sheltered the outcast. Hallelujah. Cover your own faults. Hallelujah. He, he ceased from accusing one another. Hallelujah. These are blessings that come when we fast. Uh, this is what constitutes a true fast. The blessings of the fast come along with that. Hallelujah. Doing good. We bless ourselves and others. Our steps are ordered by the Lord. God bless our words. He bless our deeds. He bless our desire. Hallelujah. Because you have to understand that there are blessings. When you read this chapter here, chapter number 58, it gives you the things that, hallelujah, happen when we fast and pray hallelujah there are blessings that come from this fast and you have to know that you can speak to the mountain you can say to the mountain get out of my way you can say to the things that come to stop you you can lay your hands hallelujah you don't have to be a preacher to lay your hands on your child and say in the name of what Jesus, and you can speak to things that come to stop your family from progressing, and you can say, hallelujah, I am going to be blessed no matter what. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And when we look at this, how many of you fasted any during this period of time? Just a, a, a some of it. Then raise your hand. Let me just see. Amen. God saw you, he heard you, and I want to know from you, did you ask him for anything? The Bible says you have not because you're what? Ask not. You got to ask God and believe God and say to the Lord, I need this. How many of you praying for your family? Hallelujah. And you have to understand that if you pray, hallelujah, God will hear and God will answer your prayer. But you got to ask. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. See, some of us just want God to read our mind. But no, we have to ask. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. And you know what? One of the good things about this is there are times that we need to stand in the gap. We have to stand in the gap for our family members. Because sometimes our family members don't know that they can ask. Bible says you have not because you what? Ask not. And you got to stand in the gap. You got to pray and stay there. And uh, you need to make a list. I'm challenging somebody today uh, because this concludes that fast today. But I want you to know that you can make a list and go to the Lord and say, Lord, I, I, I want to add something to my list. I want to stand on it. I see my daughter, my son, my brother, my sister, my cousin, my mother, my hallelujah, my distant relatives having problems. But you have to say, hallelujah, God, I need this miracle. Hallelujah. The, 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 the scripture says it like this. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the what? 
desires of your heart. Can somebody tell the Lord, thank you. You have to delight yourself in the Lord. You say, Lord, I've done my part. Hallelujah. I've done my part. And all you have to do now is ask. That's why the Bible says, delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37. Delight yourself. Delight yourself. Do what's good. Do what's good. And somebody in here today, your family member is waiting on your prayer. You got to ask them for it because they don't believe that they can ask. They don't believe they have the power to ask. They don't believe. Hallelujah. But you have to know in your heart. Hallelujah. That when I pray, miracles happen. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. You can go to the Lord in prayer. And these are part of the benefits. You can go to the Lord in prayer and say, uh, Lord, help my son. Re remember, uh, David fast for his son in 2 Samuel. If you want to read the story, 2 Samuel chapter 12. David fast for his son and prayed that God will always prevail in his son's life. Uh, hallelujah. And, and, and know that God answers prayer. The Bible says, you have not because you what? Ask not. Uh, and I believe the Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace that we might find help in the time of need. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. I've got to believe God. I've got to say to the Lord, Lord, any way you bless me, I will be satisfied. I will receive it. And you know, if Jesus uh, fasted and prayed, we need to fast and pray. Somebody tell the Lord. Uh, now, let me let me uh, give you some uh, quick examples of, 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 of what uh, fasting is. Is uh, 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 fasting is a powerful prerequisite to a significant event. If you want the mountain to move, speak to the mountain. Have faith and believe. Fast and pray. Fasting empowers us. During times of great temptation, number two, you got to know, hallelujah, that God has given us the victory, but we got to speak to the mountain. Number three, uh, uh, fasting empower us during our time of weakness, Matthew chapter number four, verse number two. Do not, because the enemy comes at us to stop us, but you have to know that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Uh, number four, I want you to hear this. Fast and empower us to recognize the enemy. Sometimes we don't recognize that this is the enemy trying to stop me, trying to tear my family up, trying to cause me to go into poverty. But I'm going to believe God. Hallelujah. When I fast and pray, yokes are broken. Fast and empower me to remember that God will keep his word. If he said, I'll never leave you, he's going to do that. Somebody tell the Lord thing. Fast and empowers us to remember the word of God. Our word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against me. Uh, the, the fasting helps me to identify the enemy. Sometimes we have uh, things that come against us and we mad at somebody when we should be mad at the enemy. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. I do. When this person is doing something, I do. and sometimes, a lot of times, uh, we, if we can just remember the word of God, Bible said, fast and empower us to remember who God is and what he says and what he will do. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, you have to know that the Lord keeps his promises. And listen to this. Fasting empowers me to resist the devil. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. It gives me the power to say to the devil, no deal, no deal, no deal. I am going to stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Psalm 37 reminds us to delight ourselves in the Lord and he will give us the desires 
of our heart. And you know, when you pray to the Lord, the Lord told me to tell somebody, my dear, when you delight yourself in the Lord, when you do that, he promised to give you desires of your heart. Anybody here want something special from the Lord? Delight yourself in the Lord. What does that mean? Praise him. Trust him. Stand on his word. Live the life. Hallelujah. Let your light shine. Do these things. And as you do those things, hallelujah, the Bible says, live for him. Do what he's called you to do. And he will give you. The blessings will come upon you and overtake you. And the Lord gives us the scripture to help us to understand. He says, I know the plans that I have for you to prosper you. Hallelujah. Not to harm you, but to take you to an expected end. Hallelujah. God has a plan. Now, what must I do? I have to. To. Hallelujah. Remember, hallelujah, what I asked him for. I got to remember that he's told me if I delight myself in him, he'll give me the desires of my heart. Does anybody here believe that? Let me see your hand if you believe that. If I delight myself in the Lord, hallelujah, he's going to give me the desires of my heart. All I got to do is do his word live his word and you know what he promised me he will help me he will strengthen me even when the enemy is fighting me what does he say to us stand still and see the salvation of the lord know that if he said i'll never leave you he is going to be with us listen to what he says in, in, in jeremiah he said i know the plans that i have for you declare the lord Plans to prosper you, uh, not to harm you, to give you a hope and expect it. Finish. He wants you to finish the race and finish it in victory. Hallelujah. God told me to tell somebody today, hallelujah, if you would just delight yourself, listen to the Lord, allow him to direct you, allow him to say to you, hallelujah, it's about your time. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Hallelujah. He wants you to know that fasting and praying, hallelujah, will pay off. Hallelujah. And if he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Listen to this. It's something that we need to recognize. If the enemy came to tempt Jesus and stop him, He's going to do the same thing to you and I. But the Bible says to us, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Let me see the hands of you who believe you already got the victory. Raise your hand if you already believe you got the victory. The Bible says, thanks be to God who what? Giveth us the victory. He's already. Uh, and fasting is about humbling yourselves and saying to the Lord, Lord, it's done. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. How many of you have been successful with your fasting? Let me see your hand. Uh, amen. Are you asking God for something? Are you willing to wait on him to give it to you? Are you willing to stand still hallelujah, and see the salvation of the Lord? There are many examples. And I, I want to say, say this because I want you to hear this. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Matthew, Jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Now, anytime the Lord allows you to be tempted, he's got a plan to see you through. Can I get a witness? He's got a plan to see you through. And no matter what the devil come, the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall what? Prosper. I'm challenging somebody today, hallelujah, to understand that if you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. Let me see the hands of you who are fasting and feel like you are getting the victory. Let me see your hands. 
Amen. God told me to tell you, hang in there. Hold on. Because it's going to pass if you just wait on the Lord, if you just stand still, if you just believe God. And I want you to take this scripture with you. Delight yourself in the Lord. And the Bible says he'll give you what? The desires of your heart. I want you to celebrate. And I want you to give God the glory and the praise for all that he is doing. And I want you to understand that uh, this fast that we have been on for this 30-day uh, month, I want you to know that it's going to pay off. How many of y'all believe it's going to pay off? Amen. Let us pray. Father, bless us, keep us, guide us, direct us, and bless us to know that you have a plan to get us through what we're going through. Because you said in your word, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. Bless us. Keep us. And remember, hallelujah, bless us to remember Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the plan that I have for you, declared the Lord. Plan to prosper you and not to harm you to give you hope and a future, expected end. God, we love you and we give you praise. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Give us a song, please. The Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. I said the Lord is blessing me right now oh right now he will be up this morning starting me on my way the lord is blessing me right now oh right now the lord is blessing me right now Oh, right now, I said the Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now, He won't be up, He won't be up this morning. Starting me on my way, the Lord is blessing me right now. bless you some more you can lay your gifts on the altar now father bless the hands that give now in the name of lord jesus christ we pray amen you may come now Right now, oh, right now, back to the verse, he won't be, he won't be. 